man. What was it? Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome sheep house. If you enjoyed the video, please do remember to like it. And without any further ado, I'll show you how to make it. So, if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some white wool, some white terracotta, white concrete, black concrete, magenta concrete, pink concrete, oak planks, oak doors, and we also need some glass. And if you actually plan on doing the inside of your sheep house, you'll also need all of the other materials that we have right here. Unless you plan on doing something different than I have, in which case, ignore me and grab some other stuff. So, once you have absolutely everything that you've seen in my inventory, we can begin. We're going to start off with a row of eight white wool coming directly up from the ground. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to hit the ground. We're going to connect all the way over to the left. And we're going to fill this in using white wool. So we're going to completely fill in this big square shape using white wool. We don't actually have to do this, although it will make the interior look better later. Now, once this is filled in, we want to come down to the bottom left hand corner of the build. Move inwards up right diagonally by one. We want to place a white wool. Go right of that by one, the white terracotta. Two with the magenta, one with the white terracotta, and one with the white wool. On top of this row, going from left to right, place a white wool, white terracotta, two pink, one white terracotta, one white wool. On top of this, place an entire row of white terracotta. On top of that, going from left to right, place a black concrete, white concrete, two white terracotta, white concrete and a black concrete. Place white terracotta on top of all of that with a finishing row of white wool directly on top of that. That's most of the house complete. Take the top two back corners of your sheep's head and extend them backwards each by seven using the white wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can then extend that seventh block across and we can connect it to the front of the build. Joining each corner block down to the ground to forge a solid shape. Exactly as you can see me doing now. We're going to fill in the very left hand side and right hand side of our sheep's head. If you want, you can easily add some windows into the sheep's head by simply destroying some of the white wool and replacing it with some glass. For added details, you could add a window oh, a window sill using maybe some oak wood slabs or maybe even some stone slabs. At the top of the head, I've chosen to add a skylight. What this means is that we're going to add to a single row of white wool inside of the top of the head going all the way around the inside with glass inside of this. This prevents any need for any interior lighting, such as torches or glowstone or whatever. On the back of the build, we're going to want to choose a place to have some doors. I'm gonna chuck them right in the middle. And I'll fill in all of the rest of the back of this using white wool. And once again, if you want to add additional details to the build, maybe you want to add some glass above the door, or perhaps you want to add some slabs or whatever. For the interior of the build, I'm going to completely destroy the floor. This means that I'm also probably going to have to destroy the doors as well. I wish it didn't have to be this way, I wish the doors could just stand on their own two legs, but unfortunately, they can't and they won't. So, goodbye doors, it's been nice knowing you. I'm going to fill in underneath the doors and I'm going to place a ring of oak wood planks on the floor, going around the edge. And I'm going to add an additional ring of oak wood planks on the floor going around the edge like this. You see, I want to have a space to put some chests in the floor and I'm trying to figure out where to put them. I think a good place is going to be here, a double chest, and I'm going to place pink concrete behind that and all the way around. 
The reason that I've chosen pink concrete is because I like the colour of the sheep's mouth and I have transferred it to the interior. I'm also going to place a double bed behind the chests against the wall. And I'm also going to place some more utilities around the place. I'm going to place a double chest next to the bed, a single chest with an enchantment table to the right of the bed, and I'm going to place a shelf all above that. So half a row above, an entire shelf above that. I want a double chest above the bed, and I want to have some useful stuff as well. So I think it would be good to have quite a few furnaces left of the chest, maybe a 2x2 two two square, and the same but using bookshelves on the right, with a shelf above all of this. And to make the place look nice, I think some paintings, or a painting, just above the chest will look great. I'm particularly fond of... I like that one, but I also like... Let me show you, it's like a plant on a windowsill. It might take a little while to get, actually, and it might not be worth the time. Now, there we go, perfect. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to install some more shelves. I'm going to place one shelf um, just here, and I'm going to place an additional shelf on the opposite side. This is going to store some stuff, so I want to have a brewing stand, a cauldron, anvils, and a flower pot. So I'm going to place a cauldron on this side with a brewing stand above it because I like it when they're elevated and I've actually reversed it for the other side but it's okay and I'm going to place an anvil next to the shelf with a flower pot on top of the shelf just because I like how that looks and we're going to have some more utilities once again we're going to have a crafting table on in this corner a furnace in this corner and we're going to have a chest here and here. Actually, you know what? By the looks of things, it might be better if we have maybe like... Maybe we add yet another shelf in the form of like oak planks with like a furnace above that. And that actually looks alright. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to replace the doors. Let's have a nice set of double doors here. Going to replace those doors. I'm going to have some more paintings, so uh, if I don't place stuff on the wall, uh, the paintings will go awry, so there we go. Gonna have a painting here, and I could even go as far as maybe placing like an item frame here, and I could even have another flower or something in there, it doesn't really matter what I choose, as long as I like it. And that is a nice little house hidden away in a sheep. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really do. It's a nice, fun little build. I like making stuff out of, like, items and mobs, as you might be able to see in just a second. I like not just making, like, sheep houses, but I like making stuff out of Minecraft items in general. You might be able to see over there in the background. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave it a like. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more. And please do comment down below. Let me know if there's something else you want to see. Check out the card system in the description below for more. And that's probably about everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Meh.